All right, the local weather guys said that that there were 11 tornadoes in Oklahoma yesterday. And, of course, you got Hurricane Michael slamming Florida right now. And that got me thinking, I need to do something with this solar power generator to make it more practical, useful, if something really does happen. And, you know, I just use this out back, but, man, I could use this anywhere. So what I did is I installed another switch for four white marker, light, marker lights on the front, moved the cigarette lighter to the center there, and then around back here, I've got no kidding jumper cable posts, which are direct wired to the battery using four gauge welding cable. Short run, of course, you got a light there too. So I added five of those white marker lights to this thing so you can see what the heck you're doing, you know, in case power goes out. The left switch there does the caution lights and main power, and the right green switch does the five new marker lights. All right, let's go out back here. I got really, really good sun here in Oklahoma. Um, there's 200 watts in solar panels there, which feeds this solar generator, which has a 600 watt pure sine wave inverter in there too. Right now it is direct wired for my garden pumps. And I got all the flashy flashies and lights on here to show you what it looks like. I can't wait till tonight to see how this thing looks. Let's take a look inside here. Getting about 84 watts. Of course, the battery is topped off right now. And that buck converter is providing a stable 12 volts to my buses there. Solar charger there. PWM. Small system. All right. That about does it. Stay safe, guys, in Florida, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.